Hi everybody. Um, it's me, it's Adrian with another jewelry bag. This time from Greater Washington, D.C., where a lot of the action is right now. <laughs> um, I paid $11 for this one, and with shipping and handling, it was about $22. And I'm going to do this with you guys because it's the only thing to keep me sane. And I'm feeling pretty sad right now. Um, just listening to all of the news reports about everything that's going on. I just realized my t-shirt is all bulked up there. Um, so it's just depressing. I'm sure you guys understand. Um, we're getting ready for Thanksgiving and things are the worst they've been in the pandemic so far. So, uh, makes me really sad and, um, I've been looking forward to seeing friends and family and, um, petrified. So anyway, I'm going to escape a little bit. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm going to escape a little bit and open this bag with you all. And there it is. So this should be fun. Let's see how many, if it says how many pounds, five pounds. All right, so let's do it. Okay, rolling up my sleeves. Oh, by the way, I am selling this one. I love this necklace. It's kind of all different ribbons. It's very Chanel, I think. All different ribbons and um, uh, faux pearl. And uh, super pretty. Apologies for my hair being a mess. It is a real mess. Um, my mom's going to tell me I didn't look glamorous. <laughs> so be it. Okay. Now, one of the reasons I got this is because I did notice there were a couple of things from what I could see that looked interesting. And I saw a lot of turquoise. So um, here we go with a twer sorry, turquoise toned dyed halite necklace. Um, this is a, a contemporary piece with a lobster clasp. It feels very cold. I don't think this is actual tur Well, you know what? There's a lot of brown lines through it and there's some kind of nicks and crannies. Um, so it might be turquoise, but I kind of think it's dyed halite. Not sure. I wish along with the you know, 925 or 585, they would tell you this is turquoise, halite, whatever, with some codes. Someone should invent that. Anyway, this is not sterling. I think it's halite. So there's that. Super pretty, though, no matter what it is. I think it's great. Um, oh, that's cute. This is a hair tie with all different faux pearls on it. Super cute for a pony. And what else do we have in this one? This looks kind of awesome. This to me looks like a chain belt. So that's kind of pretty. I love these links. Really great. So I don't think it's marked with anything. But that's sweet. I like that. More turquoise. I don't want to pull on it, but I do see another piece. This is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, please don't be broken. Okay, this is a contemporary piece. Um, it is marked with a hang tag here. Wow, that is cool. Um, and that, I believe, is turquoise just because of the way the the nuggets look. You see that all the all the kind of cracks in there look brown. Um, and it's silver tone. Let me see who makes this. It's made by a company called Lucia, which I think I've heard of. That's a beautiful piece. So pretty around the pearls and it's got like this little silver tone flower and some rhinestones that's great that will definitely be a great item for my poshmark and i don't know if this is supposed to match it but 
there's a lot of turquoise in here. So maybe that's supposed to go with it, I'm not sure. But that's a stretchy ring also with turquoise and rhinestones within it. It's a little worn on the back. Some people don't care. I personally don't care as long as no one can see it. So that's great. I'll keep that on because I like it. This looks very tribal. Um, it's light, so I feel like this is probably like a um, carved, it looks like carved wood. But it's not heavy, but I think it is carved wood. You can see from the um, the inside of the bead or the end of the bead, that's wood. So I don't know what that is. I'll have to do some research. It looks definitely tribal to me. Pretty neat. We've got another stretch ring. And this one has all different yellow stones. So that's cool. Pretty. It's in great shape. Looks like we're getting some items that are in nice shape here, which I'm thrilled about. And here's the matching bracelet to that necklace. Oh my gosh, what a great set. It's a lot of turquoise on there. And it's definitely cold, so it's, it's genuine stone. Looks beautiful together, huh? Okay. A lot of stretchies here. Here's a stretchy with some rhinestones. These are um, acrylic beads. That's a nice one though. Another stretchy. Oh, this is an earring that's linked onto it. Hold on a minute. Okay. This is an infinity sign with some crystals. And that was an earring that's like an, e oops, an earring climber. So it hooks into your ear up here. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Another earring. This is, I guess, a piece of wood. Goes on the side. I don't know what this is. I think this is maybe a belt buckle. Um, it's pretty. It's definitely vintage. Um, a few stones are missing so I don't know what I'll do with that okay we got we still have a lot of necklaces don't we this is a little earring in turquoise and um sorry not turquoise like a oh maybe yeah I guess it is turquoise with greens and blues this doesn't feel like it's, feels like it's not quite in the right spot. I'll fix that later. Pretty one. And this is definitely a vintage piece because of the lock. Let's see who makes it. Napier. It's a nice piece. It's in very good shape too. That's probably 60s. I think there were a lot of pieces of jewelry that were this kind of white, um, white colored tone. Um, I don't even know what to call it. It's almost like a white metal. It's painted metal. Okay, this is a bangle and all the stones are there, which is nice. It's a pretty one in red, nice for the holidays. I don't think I see a maker's mark, but that's nice. It's a great bag so far, isn't it? I don't think there's been anything that's in poor shape. Okay, this looks like something I have that's um, Kenneth J. Lane. Big links in gold and white. It's a little twisted, but that's okay. And this is Napier, also very pretty. I'll untangle this when I take it, take the lock off. But that's why don't I do that now, <laughs> so I can show you guys what it's really supposed to look like, because it's super tangled. So basically, it's supposed to look like this. 
really nice. Okay. Here we have another hair tie. These are really pretty hair ties. It's a string hanging out of this one, but I'm sure that's easily fixed. And we've got an earring holding on for dear life, little crystal. And this is a link bracelet with a lobster claw with a big rhinestone dangle. All the stones are there and a faux pearl and a crystal. Very pretty. Wow, they put in some nice things in this bag. All right, here's something that's a little more worn. Not awful, but a little more worn. And it's a um, statement necklace. Looks like this is black or brown. This might be like a sable color, like my cat Boo. Okay, so far so good. And I feel already so much calmer doing this jewelry bag with you guys as I was listening to the news and I was starting to feel even more anxious than normal over this last 24 hours. This has not been a good 24 hours of COVID news. Three kids walking past my door, my um, window. Oh, I wish I could be a kid again. Don't you wish you could be a kid and not think about anything and not worry about stuff, bills or COVID, you know, just be like five years old and just think about finger painting and reading storybooks and all that stuff. All right, these are very tangled and I don't want to hold you up. Okay, it looks like, ah, uh, I really want to untangle this. It looks like two different necklaces, one with some discs and the other with um, some faux pearl and pink stones. Oh, wow. I don't know. There may be a whole other necklace in here, as I see another thin necklace in here. And this is where I always find the best things. I guarantee this is silver. I guarantee this is going to be sterling silver because that's what, that's what I get um, in these bags when they're all tangled. They're like... Um, they're legitimate silver or gold or whatever, and people just don't feel like untangling it. Yep, nine two five. Uh, okay, so I will I will spend some time with this one this evening. Okay, so basically the coins, the pearl necklace, and then we've got some kind of silver something. I think it's just ah, I just pulled. See, damn it. Ugh. Shouldn't have pulled that. Although, I don't even know if it's the full chain in here. Now I'm going to have to untangle it, guys. I'm sorry. Because now I'm upset with myself for pulling too hard on that delicate chain. That was really, really dumb. Ah, I broke it. See, that's what happens when you're impatient. That's really unfortunate. God. Mad at myself. Very mad at myself. You know what? I'm no longer mad because it's broken anyway. Whew, okay. I will melt that down. It will go in the melt pile. See that? I was gonna be very upset and now I'm not. And this is about to come apart so I'll show you the two. Okay, this is the cute little pearl one. And this one is this is probably going to go in the craft lot because I think it's seen better days and I also think the chain's broken so I'll put that over there and we've got some sterling scrap so there you go another hair tie and this is I can't believe this is in here this is so random my mom sells Avon this is Mark which is my husband's name but it's Mark makeup which is sold by Avon Nice weight on this. I don't know what kind of beads they are. 
they're ceramic maybe or something because they've got a lot of nice weight to it. There's um, black beads with some silver sparkle. And here's another statement necklace. This looks like a J. Crew or something. And I wouldn't be surprised if it was because this, um, well, one of the links is gone. I was going to say it's in such good condition, but one of the links is gone from the back of there. So it's coming apart. That's probably easy to fix, and the chain looks nice, so I will think about fixing that one. Okay, here is a little stud earring. Um, and it is that, like that. Let's see, this looks like it could be silver. Not sure. Yep, it's marked. 925. Okay, so we'll hope we'll find the other one that's really pretty that's probably cubic zirconia. And it's two stones. Nice. And then it was connected to this little necklace with some rhinestones. And I bet this is Claire's. No, this is icing. Same thing. God, I look so tired today. I'm telling you, I am so distraught about everything right now. I need to get a good night of sleep tonight. Another one of these bracelets. This is a wood stretchy that's seen better days. It's losing its stretch. And we have a charm bracelet very cute one too with hearts and flowers and a key who makes this one very cute looks like it could be like a lucky brand or something this says happiness oh it's in, it's engraved M C A it says all right so maybe I don't know they could have attached this to it. This could be 14 karat gold for all you know. Let's see. Usually things that are engraved are good quality. I don't think this is gold though. No. But this is super cute. And we have a um this looks like a homemade bracelet of some sort. Don't love that. We've got an earring with a little acrylic bead, some crystal, a keychain that says Cure 24 Services. I don't know what that is. That is not jewelry, people. It's very tribal necklace. Um, could be vintage. Some nice. Um, authentic stones and shells here. Very pretty. And a horn at the end. Or an arrowhead. I guess it's an arrowhead. It's pretty. This is a... Let's see what this says. It says Gas Bijou Skeleton. I never understand what the attraction is with, with these skulls and things, but okay. And this says something, I'll read it to you in a minute. It says, I love you to the moon and back. That's pretty. Let me see, I think the chain has seen better days, but I love that. I love the pendant. I may put that on a different chain. That's really cute. My stepdaughter loves rose gold. Um, it might be a little too gooey for her for me to say, I love you to the moon and back, but <laughs> I don't know. I'll ask her. Pretty earring, but this one's broken, so we'll put that in the crafter. 
and this is some kind of um, shoe buckle or scarf pin. I hate it. <laughs> I'm putting it in the craft lot. Um, I don't know what this earring is. Does it say anything on the back? No. Teeny tiny earring. Let's see, it's usually the bits on the bottom that I love. Okay, we've got a cute bicycle charm that needs a chain. That's sweet and fun. Oh my gosh, I have the cutest bicycle necklace from one of the things I opened that um, I think I showed you guys with a double seated bicycle. It was so cute. Okay. Thought that was silver for a second. Beautiful earring. Let's see if we find the mate to this. That's super pretty. Really nice AB stones. Sweet little ring. Costume. Um, I don't know what this is. This is a bit from something. Probably was an earring. The back fell off. There's nothing there. And another earring, and this is, oh, wait a minute. This is from this. Oh, okay, so I can fix this earring, which I will do because that's super pretty. Okay, so basically I just need to close this loop off at the back, um, so we will keep those. Okay, and not that much left, but I do have a bag with a bunch of bits and pieces, so we'll have to um, open that. Um, cute station necklace, all in different blues and greens. Very pretty. Looks like something Ann Taylor would make. Nice condition. Gosh, it's like... I don't even need Christmas presents this year because I feel like these are my Christmas presents I open every day. A little costume piece with shells and beads. Bracelet. These are interesting because they're they're actually um, paper. Can you see that? They're bits of paper rolled up. Who knows what this is? Okay, this says, this might be a different language. Doterra? Italian? I don't know. I don't know what that is. Keychain. And here we have another one of those kind of handmade bracelets that goes in the craft lot. Another one, craft lot. Um, pretty little rose earring. They kind of look like crap. Sorry, guys. I'm just looking at myself in a mess. <laughs> My nose itches. Um, okay, this is another keychain. It says Cozumel. Never been to Cozumel, but I'd like to go sometime when this is over. Sweet little earring. And we've got a bracelet. A lot of these in in the um, in these bags, they're like abalone shell. They're all different ones, dolphins, and all different kind of beachy things. It's not sterling. There's a pretty little rose or flower ring, which matches this one. So I'll put that on together. It's cute. Here is the mate to this beautiful earring. And all the stones are there, so that's great. A lot of AB stone earrings here. Here's another one. All the stones are there, too. Some well-made jewelry pieces in here, because even in this bag, they didn't get banged up, and they're in great shape. They didn't lose any of their um, stones. This is Lee on it. Just 
statement necklace in turquoise. Actually, that's more of like a Tiffany blue than a turquoise. Um, here is a bracelet, which is broken and kind of banged up. And I don't think it is silver or anything. It looks like it was marked with something, but it might be dirt. I think it's just scratched up. Okie dokie. Here's the matching earring that we found earlier. This looks like it could be silver. Let me see. It's kind of tangled at the lock here. Hold on. Oh, there we go. I don't know why I never use the magnet first. Yeah, it's attracted to that magnet. It looks silver though. And it has a hang tag on it that says something. It says, I don't know, Biagi or something. And it's not silver. And I think it's starting to break. So that's not for us to resell. Here is a bracelet. This looks like a Leah Sophia or something. Let's see? Alfani. Some of the Alfani stuff is actually vintage or like, eight, you know, 80s vintage. So I don't know what that is, but that's Alfani. That's pretty. Handmade lanyard bracelets. Oh, and sleepaway camp looks like. Here's another handmade little guy. Um, here is a rosary. And that's, oops, it's around, that's a rosary, around a bracelet, costume. Handmade something or other, more handmade something or others. If these were like pretty handmade things, I will show you. I would show you, but uh, kind of crappy. It says 1987 on it. <laughs> um, little heart necklace. I don't know what this is. This is like a weird plastic pendant on a cord. No idea what that is. I see a thimble down here, which is funny. Okay, little post earring in pink. Here is the thimble. Is it possible these are ever silver? I doubt it, right? Could it be? No. I might keep it because I don't have a thimble and I think it's neat. Here's a little earring with crystals, rhinestones. A little flower earring. That's pretty. And the back is a little on a adjusted so I'm gonna just bend it back okay all these little bits this is a pretty earring that looks like it could be um, cubic zirconia so let me look at that that's probably silver um, I'm not sure it is it's a little dark in here looks like a nice stone though Whoops, uh, I don't know, I don't think so. Um, I've seen this little guy before, this guitar. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? For a girl who plays the guitar, that's super sweet. I hope I have the other one, that's really cute. And here's the other, this was the Sterling 925. This is, I think, Cubic Zirconia, that's a cute pair. I'm trying to start separating my 925 little post earrings um, because I have so many.
post earrings like that that I'm not keeping a good track of these were lanyards more la more lanyards I'm not keeping good track of them um, okay this is a bangle in like a bluish purple with stones is it missing that end stone no this looks like a stone and dot to me or something like it but that's cute and this is just plain gold bangle there's a bag of bits in here too which um, ooh. this looks very shiny gold Sorry, I'm opening that next here's the other earring costume some nice stones there and this goes with the rest of those rings. So I'm putting it on here. It's a cute little combo, isn't it? And we've got a turquoise flower earring. Two that look like looks like a red stone. Let me see what these are. these are anything. No, this is costume. But they're paired, so that's nice. It's like a deep red color. Oops. Okay, so now I have a couple more bits at the bottom, and then I have two bags of stuff they put together, so who knows what that could be. Here is a pretty bracelet, all in rhinestones, in black rhinestone plain rhinestone it says icing okay so that is also an icing piece little flower I think we found one of these at the beginning right of course my earrings are all now buried yep here we go there's a pair okay. I'm gonna put my pears on the side that guitar. Put these aside too. Actually, I have a container. Okay. Oh, forgot where I left off. Ah. Oh, what's this? Oh, this might be silver, you guys. This is super pretty. This is a star. Um, Arm bracelet and it looks silver. Hold on. Hmm. No. No, it is not. This clasp usually is a silver one, though. But it isn't. It's cute, though. Sweet. Here's a matched earring. Little crystals. There's two of them there. Put them together. And here's that other earring. Here's a pink stud. And I know we have the other one of these. I just put it on the side. Now I can't find it. I gotta put my earrings in one place so I do not mess it up. Okay, and these are paired as well. They're a little dingy though. Unless these are silver, which I don't know if they are. No. Well, I'll look at them later. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see what's in those bags. Oh, here's the other. Um, yeah, these are a pair. Hold on. These are a pair here. Okay. Cute little flowers. I don't know who that designer is. Lulu. Okay, so where did I put the bag of gold stuff? There it fell. Let's open that first, guys. This is 35 minutes already. 
I don't know what that is. Is that a ship or a fish? Or a bird? Or a seal? <laughs> I need to look at that under a loop. Oh my god, I'm getting old. It's a seal. It is a seal. And I think this is stirring. I do think it's stirring. It's marked. Um, it's definitely marked, but it says something with a G. I have to look at that in better light. Here's the other pink stone. And they're pretty on the side. Nice size. Okay. All right. Let's open. Don't tell me I lost it again. Oh, here it is. Okay. Let's open this bag of gold. shiny piece nice gold tone chain um, I don't see a maker's mark or anything it's costume it might be yeah, it might be gold plated it's not attracted to the magnet very nice chain Here's the other seal, by the way. I'll look at that later. And some bits and pieces. Okay, put that over here. All right. I should really do this over the table. I'm going to, I'm gonna push this aside, all this stuff. I need more room to work. This looks like it's an ankle bracelet. And it is attracted to the magnet, so it is not sterling. But that's what that is. I'm gonna dump this whole thing on the table. Okay, bunch of stuff in here, little teeny bits. Little teeny tiny bits. This is a pretty little necklace. Let's see what this is. I guess they didn't want to get these tangled in the in the bag. Although I told myself they were in a separate bag because they were worth a lot of money. But that's pretty. There's rhinestones. Um, let's see if there's a maker's mark. There's not. But that's cute. And here is another gold chain. This is definitely costume. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, I keep dropping it. Let's see, I see some stuff that may be sterling. That's pretty. Some pink rhinestones and let's see no maker's mark and this is not sterling but that's a cute little necklace pretty solitaire on sterling Oh, I don't know it's sterling yet. It looks like sterling. That's what I was thinking in my head. It looks like sterling. But it's not. Okay, I don't think I'm getting any sterling in this bag. Except for that chain that's big. And, um, nothing marked here. Nope, just a, little, just a little costume piece. And here's another. another solitaire. They're a little tangled together. 
and I don't think that's sterling either, but I'm going to look. Ooh, there's a lot of shine on that stone though. A lot of bling, a lot of fire. Very pretty solitaire. I mean, even if this is costume, that's a really nice stone. Sometimes you can wear costume and pull it off and people think it is real. So don't forget that guys. Okay, so that was all the gold bits. And now here's another little bag. I'm actually gonna do this bag with you guys on another day because this is 40 minutes already in and it's a lot of stuff in here. So let's open this next time. Um, I hope you are staying safe and sane and sorry I'm so disheveled today. Um, just having one of those days, but things will get better. Um, hang in there guys. I hope you're all doing well. Please share this video. Give us a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind and subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you soon. Take care.